here on Sam Raver in the summertime. You know, one of the things in East Texas that's world famous is fishing deep high drilling or dropping grass lines. We're gonna go do a little of that today. We're gonna show you how I use my electronics and it's gonna speed up and simplify deep grass fishing for you. Come on, let's go get after them. You know, I know that most of these fish are setting the, the bites that I've gotten here on Rayford this week have been somewhere between 14 and 10 foot of water. But we're looking for this grass. I'm gonna get right up on the top of this point. We got a big long point coming out and I'm gonna idle down this point. And I'm looking at side imaging and I'm looking at, at down imaging and I'm looking on side imaging for locating clumps of grass off to the sides. And then the, the DI will show me if I get on a, a thicker clump of hydrilla, it'll light it up directly on the boat. What I'm looking to do is I'm looking for hydrilla that's got canopies on it. Thicker hydrilla clumps that the fish can set into. So we've got grass on this point that we're idling up on. We can see right here by looking at the chart. Lake Master VX card. You can see the scattered grass out here in 15 foot of water. We're fixing to stand up and dob right here. I did not realize that that grass was that thick off the corner of that. What I'm looking for, we're gonna get up in here. We're looking for thicker clumps and where this hydrilla is actually canopied off. It's done gotten hot. The uh, surface temp's 80 degrees this morning. And you can see at the tops of this down here on 2D, how it's won't come up and lay over. And when we find that, what we're, we're gonna take a punch rig, we're gonna punch off into these deep, deeper canopies where the fish are kind of hanging out. Years ago, my, I depended on my eyes to be, to be my fish finders. I mean, I, I read water, I looked at banks. I, I, it was totally visual to me. I, I used a flasher uh, for what offshore fishing I'd done, but today with the technology that we have, now I'm able to pull up on these places and literally those are my underwater eyes. I mean, it's it's so simplified. There's a school of fish that just swam across the top of that clump I drilled. Learning to use the Lake Master mapping, I mean, this is my bank now. This is my underwater, this, this is my eyes. Understanding the topo lines, I'll zoom this out so you can see what's going on. I mean, where we're at, this is a big flat point. As you can see, there's an old channel swing, or they call it a drain, that comes in here and it kisses off against this point and runs the edge of this flat. And we've got hydrilla here and all out in here, we've got several, and it feeds right out to the main lake. So these fish are positioned up right on the tip of this thing, and they're, it's basically no different than looking at that bank the way I used to look at it. I could tell where the channel dug in or whatever. Now I'm able to increase the amount of water that I fish by being able to fish stuff that's out here that, that I can't see. So the, bit, the technology just totally changed the sport. It's changed my ability to fish. You know, and I'm, and I'm, I'm older. I, I didn't come along in the, in, the, in the computer technology days. So I've had to gravitate and change my thought process another clump of grass. See, we've got a hard bottom here, and now we're getting up into another clump of grass here, but where those fish were located was behind us. They may be, they go, here we go. Here we go. He was in that clump of grass right, right in front of us. Sam Raven special. But literally by using my electronics, you can see we went from the, we, we moved into another clump of grass and it's, I'd already made a pitch up in there and he was in that clump of grass. You literally, it's pitching true enough for what you're trying to do. You try to pitch and, and you watch, I raise the rod tip all the way up and throw slack in it. What that's gonna allow, to, this bait's gonna fall straight down, it doesn't gonna pendle them back to me. Cause you literally want it to fall straight down through these deeper canopies of hydrilla. The Mega Live has just totally changed the way that I fish grass now. You can see them, I mean, they're, they're roaming in there. You can see that fish here, see him swimming across the grass. Got another one here. Yeah, they're just prowling all in this grass. I mean, they got a lot of bait here for them. You can see we're getting out of the grass. See my bait falling? I'm gonna make another pitch, see if you can. See the bait? 
There goes my punch rig right there. This water's fairly clear. The fish are looking for shade. They're looking for ambush points. And they can swim around all in this grass and feed. But yet what they choose to do is get into the thicker clumps of grass. And it's unlike fishing like you can just blind cast. If the fish were actively feeding, I could blind cast a bait and just pull it through and work it through the structure and, and probably do okay. But when these fish are set up and they're not really aggressive, they'll sit inside these domes of grass and they won't chase anything. So you're, you're truly, it's, it's a true flipping bite. You're looking for a reaction bite. And so you've literally got to penetrate the certain clumps that they're in. And by using Mega Live, I can isolate and figure out exactly where I want to be. I can tell you from looking at this grass here, it's got a top to it. See how it's not broken up in long strands? It's got like a canopy on the top of it. You ought to be able to see that bait falling down. It'll go in, into that. And the other way that I know is I can feel it when I go to pull it up. <laughs> and I'm running my mouth and one jerks my pole down. <laughs> Fishing these deeper places or fishing offshore fish, there's so many ways to stay on them now that we used to didn't have. You know, used to, for if I got out on a big grass flat and I, I literally, I was laying here and I would have a buoy marker laying ready to kick off the side because when these fish would be in this high drill in that, but they'll be in such small areas in it that if when you found them, you had to put something down to stay on top of them. Otherwise you just couldn't. Gosh, there's so many ways that I could keep this boat on a specific place in this grass i could put a waypoint on it i could i could spot lock my ultrax on it uh you know if it's i'm running eight foot raptors if it's if it's no, no deeper than eight foot i could put the raptors down and stay on them effectively it just makes it all the tools that we have available now make this kind of fishing so much easier and the common guy at home it's going to make it uh, a lot easier for him to go out and learn how to do this. Kind of moved around. I got to move around and find them. There's so many options available. I mean, look at the views I've got. It's hard to believe that I showed up here in 1996 to fish Bassmaster Invitational with a Super 60 Hummingbird box flash. You know, one of the great things about Hummingbird and the, and the One Boat Network is I can look at any unit in this boat through any unit. They're all on the same network. so. By leaving my Ultrex uh, Quest down, carefully idling around, I can go in here and I can select Mega Live, and I'll be able to see this grass as I'm coming up to it. You know, there's no need for anybody to be afraid of these graphs. You know, the great thing about a hummingbird is it's pretty what I call dummy proof. Look, if I can, if I can use them, they're pretty dummy proof. You simply go to your home page, you select that screen. And in the top left corner, you have all your functions to be able to adjust that page, that view. And it's simple. I mean, you can see that this, this is factory settings. I haven't even adjusted it. I can take and, and touch sensitivity. I can turn it down and I can watch what it does without getting off the screen. So I know if I've altered anything and I don't like, I can turn it up and I can look at the view. I can look at the clarity of the screen. I can go in here and I can touch contrast. I can turn the contrast up and you can watch the screen clean up or I can turn the contrast down. The way you learn, I mean, you can dial, turn all these dials all you want, but you need to physically see your bait fall. You need to see a fish. If you know a place that you've always caught them and you know exactly what's on the bottom there, when you get your, when you get your graphs and you want to learn how to use them, you know what's there, go turn them on. Go play with those settings on a piece of structure that you know that you know how it lays out, and it will teach you more than anything. It's, it's simple. I'm having to learn on the fly like everybody else. I did not embrace that technology as quickly as others did. I didn't think that it was going to be something that was going to turn the fishing world upside down the way it has. So I am trying desperately to catch up in that technology. That is a fish right there. He's kind of sitting in some thin grass. Did you get it? That's a good one, I think. <laughs> Let's 
another old high drill fish. By using the Lake Master mapping, it, this is the new VX card, Mid-South region. And the contours are so detailed that you literally, by the time you break it down, you, you'll figure out there, there'll be a certain specific depth on a certain specific clump. These contour lines are my bank now. We're used to, I'd get over there and run that bank and I could read everything along that bank. The key to bass fishing is being able to use your, all this stuff and put it all together and understand where they are. Being able to locate bass where they are is the most important. Not learning how to drop shot, not learning how to pitch a jig, but learning how to locate fish. And this right here, the electronics and the mapping has sped the process up a thousand times. You know, I get to spend hours and hours and hours. If you got the right stuff, you can literally go out here and be somewhat proficient in it right the, the moment you get to the lake. And then by the time you spend a few hours on the water, you're ready to go and it's, you're gonna have a lot of enjoyable days on the water catching fish. It simply comes down to being able to use the tools that we have, which is rod, reels, line, electronics, boat, and to present a bait to a fish with a pea-sized brain and outsmart it. <laughs> Don't sound hard, does it? <laughs>